In this video, we will start with inverse functions. You will find this on page 108 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Inverse functions. From the previous example, try now 9, number 5, we notice that fgx is equal to gfx is equal to x. If two functions fx and gx are defined so that fgx is equal to gfx equals x, we say that f of x and g of x are inverse functions of each other. The inverse function is an undoing function. Therefore, the operation of fx reverse all the operations of gx. And the operations of g of x reverse all the operations of f of x. The inverse of a function has all the same points as the original function, except that the x and the y's have been reversed. For instance, suppose a function is made up of the points, and this is the points. The inverse is then given uh, um, by the set of points, so the, the y becomes the x and the x becomes the y. It's just swap. Can you see? Just swap. This newly formed inverse will be a relation, but might necessarily be a function. The inverse will be a function only if the original function is a one-to-one -one function. Okay, that's very important. We'll show you now in examples. The inverse is usually showing by writing a negative one as an index after the function name, like this. Do you see the negative one there? We say f inverse of x, or the inverse function of x. Okay, so this two will be inverse functions. So let's stop. Let's look at an example. We also did it in ordinary level. So the inverse of this is be written as this. And I think I showed you now, I did another example there. So given that gx is this, find g minus 1x or the inverse function of x. Okay. And then evaluate this. So first, very important, in the place of the g of x, you put a y. Then you swap. So step one, replace this with a y. Step two, you interchange all the x and y. So where you see a y, it becomes an x, and where you see an x, it becomes a y. And now you make y the subject of the formula. So it's squared, and I take it over. Basically there, I make y the subject of the formula, and then g minus 1x is x squared plus 3. So the new y, the new y must be replaced by a g to the power negative 1x, meaning the inverse of um, the inverse function of x, or f inverse of, or g inverse of x. Okay, and then I evaluate, I just substitute, and I just get 7. Okay. I think I'm just not going to give you only one. We also did it in ordinary level. Um, but if you still struggle with it, really do this whole try now 10. And I'm just going to do number one. Um, on second thought, I think because one is so, so easy, uh, maybe we can see if we have a bit of a more difficult one. I think let's do number H also number 2h, then at least it's two sums. Okay, let's start with number 1. fx is equal to 3x plus 4. Find the inverse. So the first thing is make it a y. In the place of x, fx, put a y. The second step, interchange x and y. Where you see an x, you make it a y, and where you see a y, you make it an x. And now, you are going to make y the subject of the formula. So, x minus 4 is equal to 3y. I divide 3, I divide 3, and I'm going to get y is equal to x minus 4 over 3. And now, I make this my new um, value. So, I'm going to say f minus 1x. And it's 
x minus 4 over 3. And now they want me to find. So f minus 1, negative 5. And it's negative 5 minus 4 over 3. And that's negative 9 over 3. And the answer is going to be negative. And that's the final answer. Just do number 2. Let's just make space. And we're only going to do one there, 2h. Find the inverse, so it's only inverse. So it's g, q, actually q. Okay, and now I'm going to, I'm going to just do it in yellow. So it's standing out. Put a y. And now, basically, I'm going to so make it x. And every time you see a y, okay, x, you make it a y. Okay, and now, what am I going to do now? I'm going to cross multiply. First cross multiply. So I'll get x, 2y minus 5, and y plus 4. Oh, sorry. Then it's going to be 2xy minus 5x equals y plus 4. Get first the brackets out. Now, take all the terms of a y to one side. Okay. And then take y out as in common form. Oh, sorry. And then divide by 2x minus 1, divide by 2x minus 1. And then I will find q minus 1 will be my new. And that's going to be 4 plus 5x divide 2x minus 1. And that will be my inverse function of cube.